Hello guys, hope you are having a wonderful day. I'm Divan Chakruwal and you're watching Tech University. Today, I'll be talking with you about another data science course that is offered by SPGen School of Global Management, uh, which goes by the name of Master of Artificial Intelligence in Business. So in this video, I'll be talking about the program overview, curriculum, admissions criteria, program fees and scholarship options if there are any. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything. And if you do like the video, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends who are looking for data science courses. Now, if we talk about this university, SPGen School of Global Management is a very big name in terms of MBA courses in India. And if we club all the IIMs together, SPGen School comes under top 10 criteria. So this course is offered in three different options because they have four different campuses all over the world. Uh, which is in Dubai, Mumbai, Singapore and Sydney. So the three different options are you, ha you can study in Dubai, you can study in Sydney or you can study online. Now, if we see that if if you want to study in Dubai, it will be starting in October 21. If you are studying in Sydney, it will be starting in February 2022. And if you're studying online, so the classes will be starting in November 2021. And in Sydney, it will only open on the condition if the Australian borders are open to international students. If we talk about the program overview, it is a two year full time postgraduate degree program and it's not like you can work and study together. It will be a full time course and the minimum eligibility is the undergraduate degree and that's it. And you will be graduated with an Australian degree. So you will be awarded a degree uh, from SPGen Australia entity and not from SPGen India. So you will be having an international degree altogether. And if we see some important dates, the application are currently open till 24th of September 21 for this year. And the evaluation will be done in 25th and 26th September. Now, if you talk about uh, the outcomes from this program is you will gain knowledge on artificial intelligence and business management. See, this course is made to fuse artificial intelligence and business. And and it's not like you will be studying pure artificial intelligence as in we study in computer science. You will be combining artificial intelligence with business problems and business knowledge because SPGen Global School is known for its MBA courses. And you will develop critical thinking, design thinking, decision making skills. You will develop communication and deep performance skills and you will develop research method competence because there is a research course that is enrolled into this particular course. And as for the career, you will be working maybe in computational advertising, recommended systems, smart logistics systems, churn management, churn prediction is a very hot topic in businesses these days and AI based portfolio management, fraud detection using machine learning. So these are the things that you can do after you graduate from this course. And if you talk about the curriculum, so for this curriculum, uh, it is spread across two years and you have to complete 46 credits out of which 34 credits are core subjects. Four credits, you have to choose a minor concentration, maybe in digital marketing or digital logistics as and when you wish. Two credits of elective you have to select and there will be a business project of two credits and four credits will be from the capstone project that you will be doing. And as for the assessment method, there is no single exam. You will be kept busy with all the quizzes, problems and exercises, industry project, lab work and exhibitions, assignment reports, group projects, all these things. You will be kept busy throughout the semester. And finally, they will be taking an end semester exam. That's it. And as for the courses, these are the courses that you will be studying across six terms. So there are three terms in a year in a year. And you can see there are a lot of courses. So in the first term, you will be studying four courses that are or core in term two you will be studying six courses and uh, some of them are two credits and some of them are one credit courses like operations management financial and managerial accounting so these are more more or less the mba courses in term three again you will be studying six subjects with the same pattern as in term two term four you will be studying three subjects and there will be a business project apart from that and in term five you will be studying three core courses and finally, you will have to select track, uh, one of the track that I told you that minor concentration that you, you can do. So these are the electives. You can select one of the tracks. In term six, you will be doing a capstone project. And apart from that, uh, one elective from among these AI strategy and change management or AI and entrepreneurship, whatever you feel like. Now, if you talk about the admissions, so for the admissions process, the minimum eligibility criteria is that you have an undergraduate degree. That is all they want. They haven't clearly stated that they want a three year degree or a four year degree. So if you have even done a three year degree, you are eligible for that. But you should at least have studied four units of mathematics, computer science, 
साइंस इकोनॉमिक्स इंजीनियरिंग साइंस और एनी अदर क्वान्टिटेटिव डिसिप्लिन दैट इज इट एंड दैट इज जनरली is there in your undergraduate degree if you have pursued and you also require to prove your english language proficiency they accept three tests ielt toefl and pearson and for ielts they need a minimum score of 6.5 out of 9 toefl they need 70 out of 120 they got very lenient mostly the universities international universities do ask you to uh, submit a score of 95 or something like that and in pearson uh, they need an overall score of 60 and for the students who are willing to study in the sydney campus they might need to check in with the australian government uh, norms because uh, to obtain the australian visa there might be a possibility that these scores might differ in that case so i will pass this link to you in the video description and the score should not be older than 2 years this is what the minimum requirement for the australian visa is and if you talk about how to apply so in how to apply first of all you have to submit your application online this is the application link i will pass this to in the video description personal interviews they will be conducting personal interviews and uh, which will assess your mathematical and analytical aptitude meaning that they might ask you analytical questions in that communication skills is i mean are gauged in every interview subject knowledge is also required see if you are going for data science courses they will be gauging your knowledge on data science subjects as well and after you are shortlisted you will be paying a one time non refundable fees of 4500 inr and finally in step 3 you will get results in the 5 to 7 working days of the interview so once you have given the interview you will within a week get a result of whether you have been shortlisted or not so if we talk about the program fees this course is offered in three different modes and uh, first of all we'll just look at the study on campus in sydney option so this will start in february 2022 and this is the first time since they are offering this course they are offering a 20% discount to the inaugural cohort that is a good option you can avail you are getting 1/5 of your tuition fees cut off straight away so for the sydney campus the total tuition fees is 64375 australian dollars and there are some non tuition fees as well uh, which corresponds to 6000 australian dollars including the discount of 20% on the tuition fees uh, the total fees you will be paying is 57500 australian dollars which if we convert in indian rupees converts to 31 lack inr and after that there are some rules that you have to follow for the australian visa uh, i will pass this link into the video as i already said so you can go check it out laptops you need to have your own laptops to conduct all the study that you will be doing throughout those two years and as for the living cost they have given an estimate that you will be st- spending around 600 Australian dollars per month in Sydney. So if you convert it into Indian rupees, that would be around thirty-two thousand INR. So this is uh, maybe a month's cost to you for including food and travel. That's it. And as for the payment timeline, in for the first year fees, you will have a time till October one, twenty twenty-one, if you get shortlisted and selected in this course. And for the year two, you will be paying the year two fees before October one, twenty twenty-two. And apart from that, there are some non-tuition fees also, which are non-mandatory. But if you fail some tests in uh, while you are in the course, so these are the costs that you will incur uh, during that to, to uh, re-give the paper. And I will not go into the details of this. And there is another option which is study online. So the tuition fees for two years would be thirty-eight thousand three hundred. Uh, us dollars the non tuition fees would be 4000 us dollars so on discount of 20% of the tuition fees will be payable of 34640 us dollars which if we convert in inr corresponds to 25072 lakhs inr as of the current rate and uh, apart from that uh, again laptop you require your own laptop there will be no living cost of course and for the payment uh, for the year 1 you will be having a deadline of uh, august 31 2021 but i don't think uh, that uh, this is possible because they will be giving you the admission date by september so i guess this is a misprint but for year 2 for the year 2 you will be having a deadline of august 31 2022 and again uh, the non tuition fees non mandatory for retest is more or less the same in this as well and for dubai option uh, the total tuition fees that you will be uh, charged is 38273 us dollars and uh, uh, the non tuition fees corresponds to 7416 us dollars 
and at a 20 percent uh, discount to the tuition fees you will be payable of 38,034 US dollars which if we convert to INR corresponds to 28,024 lakh INR again the laptops will be yours so you will be taking your own laptops and as for the living cost they have given an approximation of 700 uh, emirate dirhams uh, to live in Dubai and if we convert this 700 dirhams to Indian rupees that would correspond to 14,000 INR so you can expect somewhere around 14,000 INR per month of stay in Dubai and for the payment timeline they have given that for year one you will have to pay before 15th of September 2021 and for year two you will be paying before August 31st 2022 now if we talk about the scholarships there are some scholarships that SPJN offers and these are the merit scholarships so to be eligible for for these scholarships you need to gain 75% of uh, score in all of the education years so for 10th and 12th and each year separately for a graduation so you need to have 75% and if you are graduate for, from a top rank institution or you have an exceptional postgraduate qualification you have some achievements in social service sports or extracurricular activities and you give a strong interview performance so these are based on that and uh, other scholarship is the diversity scholarship so candidates from underrepresented countries maybe the third world countries in africa and uh, in southeast asia so these are the countries these are the people who are included into the diversity scholarship so you can look out for and and for any scholarships in SPJN, you don't need to apply separately. Uh, once you apply for this program, you will definitely be considered for scholarships. And if your profile stands out, you will be given scholarship from the admissions committee. Now, there still might be some questions uh, which I have not covered. So I will try to cover them through FAQs. Most of the FAQs I found, uh, which I already discussed. So there's this question, does SPJN offer career assistance to students? Yes, they have services office in all of the campuses so once you are a part of the SPJAN school you will be help with finding career opportunities in the related field and is student accommodation compulsory or I can organize my own housing so yes there is no compulsion on the student accommodation you can opt to choose to live in off-campus as in when you require and uh, does SPGen provide on-campus meals is vegetarian food available and if you do wish to live campus life you will be having meal in the cafeteria and they do provide with the vegetarian food as well so this was all about this particular course if you like this video please subscribe to this channel and like the video share the video with your friends uh, who are searching for data science courses i'll be coming up with another data science course in the next video till then au revoir